All right, Todd Chamber fans, it's double header Saturday. We are going to try another Death Guard versus Eldar battle. Carnage in the Spire is another 1750 points. Uh, different changes here. CP are still the same. Armies are still the same. Uh, we'll go into a summary of those here soon. Uh, but what we are going to do is the Farseer, uh, the Eldar are going to spend a CP to give the Farseer an extra rune uh, of Fauchu's wing so he can now fly. Everything else is still the same. Uh, what is amazing is the battlefield now. Completely different battlefield from the original. We still have an attacker and defender, but we do have a very more, uh, more very, I just, words don't work, uh, densely populated terrain uh, board uh, with the spire. Let's go to the far side, being right there in the Manufactorum or the, uh, whatever that scenery is. As long as the Eldar, as the attacker, get to that, as soon as they can get to that point in their movement phase, the game ends. Let's see what happens. Getting ready for deployment. All right, let's look at the Eldar army for this breach of quarantine. The defenders, we have our warlord, the Autark with swooping hawk wings. Uh, then we have a Farseer uh, with a Singing Spear, a Farseer Skyrunner with a Singing Spear, and a Warlock with a Singing Spear. Then we have our three units of troops to fill out the brigade with two units of Rangers and a unit of Dire Avengers. Then we have the Spearhead with the uh, two, three heavies with two units of Dark Creepers and the Fire Prism. Uh, and then we have the, uh, the Fast Attack with the Outrider Detachment. We have a unit of Warp Spiders, unit of Swooping Hawks, and a unit of Wind Riders. And my favorite models ever, uh, probably the uh, Wraith Guard. Uh, five here with the D-Scythe and five with the Wraith Cannon. 1,750 points-ish of the so Eldar. Here is 1,750 points of Death Guard Battalion. Three Plague Burst Crawlers with Entropy Cannons. We've got two five-man Plague Marine squads inside of the Rhino. We've got two Bloat Drones, Flesh Mower, and two, count them, two Plague Spitters. We've got Brutus 1 and Brutus 2, both with Laz Cannons, Warlord, Chaos Lord. We've got Death Shroud, Typhus and the Boys. And then we've got enough points for 12 Poxwalkers. And that is 1,750 points of Death Guard. Here we are with a deployment of Carnage in the Spires. We're looking at the Spire, guarded by quite a few. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Plague Marines, and three Plague Burst Mortars, and a couple Hell Brutes, and a couple, well, just one uh, Blow Drone that I can see right here. Uh, we got some Pox Walkers. Uh, who else we got on the field? That's all I can see. That's gonna be bad for me as the attacker. Uh, but that is the, oh, there's the other Blow Drone. Uh, as the attacker here, we have some Dire Avengers. We have some d Scythe Wraith Guard hanging out there. Uh, then we have some Wind Riders with the Farseer on the Skyrunner. We have some Dark Reapers, and we have a Farseer with Fauchul's wings, so he can fly. We have some Warp Spiders hanging out here. Uh, then we have the more Dark Reapers with the uh, Warlord, the Autark with Subi Hawk Wings, and the Fire Prism. Uh, trying to get there. Up in reserves right now, we have the Swooping Hawks, we have the Wraith Guard with the Wraith Cannon, we have the Warlock, and we have two units of Rangers that are going to be deployed before the first battle round begins. And in the Teleportarium, we do have, again, Typhus, McTypherson, and the Death Shroud. Bodyguard. Let's see how the Spires pan out. God, scenery is beautiful. End of the Eldar attacker, turn one. Uh, we started off shooting, did some moving, some psychic phasing, not a, not very successful. Did some guiding and didn't really work out. Fire Prism shot over here at the Plagueer's Mortar, maybe did a wound or two there. Uh, then the Dark Reapers over here shot at that same Plague Burst Mortar, maybe did a wound. Overall, three wounds came off that Plague Burst Mortar, so not terrible. Uh, tried to snipe some stuff here on the Chaos Lord. Uh, wasn't very successful. I rolled uh, more twos than I've ever rolled in my life, which hopefully that means that's out of my system, uh, but I doubt it. Uh, Warp Spiders got some movement over here. Um, they uh, did some shooting with Poxwalkers, may have get, got one. Uh, the Farseer shot Poxwalkers and Executionered and other stuff. A lot of DR going on, but six Poxwalkers disappeared. 
Uh, and then ra more rangers sniping at the Chaos Lord uh, right there. That's a great view right there. I uh, didn't do any wounds there, but it was still fun. Uh, I did some shooting over here, part of the Poxwalker demolition with the Windriders. Uh, then these Wraith Guard with their Decise were set up right here. Got some shots off, then fire and faded and got back into cover for one CP. And uh, just kind of hanging out over there, see how uh, Death Guard turn one goes as I try to get to this fire. Patience may be a key here. All right, the end of Death Guard turn one. Still a bit of shooting. Mortars uh, finally showed up. We, we did kill four of the Dark Reapers over here. Uh, we did kill one Wind Rider as well. And we killed these snipers, uh, the Rangers. They were really dug in with their chameleon cloaks. And then Poxies, very brave, came over here, made the charge against the Wraith Guard, I think they are, Wraithy something. And we didn't kill anybody and they killed us back. But we're just trying to occupy the guys with the badass guns for now. And that's it. That's all we got for uh, Death Guard turn one. End of Eldar turn two. Uh, those Rippers sniped one of these Plague Marines off the board. Well done there. So, and then we had awesome. some Dark Reapers. One Dark Reaper there. Five Dark Reapers over there. Sniped a uh, Plague Burst Crawler off the board. Which allowed Fire Prism to destroy Hellbrutes number one right there. Then the Warp Spiders... Nick three wounds off of the Hellbrute over here. Then we had some shooting. We did two more wounds from the D Scythe Wraith Guard onto this Plague Burst Mortar. The two Wind Riders that were left uh, nicked off another three or four Plague, uh, sorry, Poxwalkers. One still left. Uh, and that's kind of where we stand so far at the end of Eldar turn two. Yep. All right, so end of Death Guard turn two. Exciting thing is we used a three command point uh, stratagem, structural detonation. We rolled a dice for each Dark Reaper on that building and didn't roll any sixes so no more wounds, but when it gets to my turn next time, that piece of scenery will be removed and any units still inside will be destroyed. Um, other than that, we, we did a little bit of shooting over here on the Wraith Guard. We killed two of them. Uh, throughout the turn. Flesh Mower came up here and uh, killed the Farseer on the Skyrunner in close combat, doing fleshy uh, fleshy things. We deep struck the Death Shroud, formerly right here, rolled an 11 on the charge, and now the Fire Prism is dead. So Chris has something to think about over on this side at least. And that's about all we did. Overall, not, not a bad turn. Typhus came out to play as well. So all of my reinforcements are out. And that is the end of turn three. And of the Eldar turn three, we uh, did bring these Wraith Guard with their Wraith Cannons onto the board uh, this turn with a three plus roll. Uh, they did shoot a Rhino through that window and with 17 wounds, he is no longer on the board. Surprise. Uh, these Dire Avengers did do a wound to this Plague Burst Mortar. Along with all the wounds these Wraith Guard with these eyes did, he is uh, down to just three wounds left, but we do have him left. Uh, we had some Wraith, I'm oh, sorry, uh, Wind Riders. We had some Warp Spiders. We had maybe a Dark Reaper all shoot to try to clear up this objective. I think we got rid of a total of three of these Plague Marines uh, between the two squads off of that, so good job there. Uh, we did nick a wound here with some Smite from the uh, Farseer over there. Uh, Warp Spiders, as they also rolled a 3 plus to come onto the board. Got rid of Fred, aka the last Poxwalker left on the board. All done there. Uh, Ranger is still hanging out, trying to nick wounds here and there. Um, but I think that's about it for the end of turn 3, so let's see... Uh, I think some strategical defensive mode is going to happen around this spire. Five to one unit. That is the end of Death Guard turn three. Plague Burst Mortar moved up. Did uh, we tickled the Wraith Guard here? We killed one of those guys. That was uh, thanks to the Plague Spitters and Brutus. We were able to get the spiders out of here. They made it pretty close to home base. We got a ring of Plague Marines protecting the objective. That if Chris just gets there, he wins. Uh, other than that, we killed two Dark Reapers, and uh, the building, we used our three-point uh, stratagem, is exploded now. 
Which is Zelda are smart. Moved. They got out of there before they died. Death Shroud moved up. We killed the last Dark Reaper over here and then consolidated towards Chaos the... Monkey. The, uh, whoever this wing guy is that they're eyeballing next. He's the Autark, which would be Hawkman. Artark. Or Autark. Uh, so that's what we got at the end of uh, Death Guard, turn three. End of Eldar, top of turn four. Long story short, we're trying to get to this spire, right? So we just got everybody over here. We uh, dropped a Warlock on there and then quickened the swooping hawk who were way over there jumped to there then moved over here did some shooting we wiped out one of the squads there's still three plague marines left trying to empty that out so we can get over there uh rules are kind of weird like we got to get to within uh in where the spire is and then get to the spire so we got to survive some shooting it's going to be tough um to get to that marker but we'll try uh Got some Dire Avengers and some Wraith Guard into the uh, Typhus, who's a beast. Uh, killed two of the Wraith Guard and only took a wound in the process. Uh, we did kill a Plague Burst Mortar. Uh, the second Plague Burst Mortar out of three. He did cause a couple wounds over there, a couple wounds to here, a couple wounds here. He did some damage by auto blowing up. Excellent use of command points. Uh, I think for the most part, that's about all that happened. Potentially, so actually, you know what? There were uh, a wound uh, from those Dark Reapers over there in the shooting phase who were guided. Uh, I got a wound on the other Plague Burst Mortar. Like, we're doing a good job, Plague Burst Mortar, but, you know, the result is we need to get to that spire. It's going to be tough. A lot of uh, defense in the way. Stupid, disgusting, really resilient. <laughs> disgustingly resilient. Conclusion of Death Guard, turn four. The Wraith Guard did make it in here in the fight phase, as did the Dire Avengers. Called in some backup with the Bloat Drone, the Flesh Mower, and Chaos Lord, both charged in. Uh, got the Wraith Guard down to one wound, and then Typhus with his Blades of Putrefaction did the remainder of the business. Up here, we did uh, shooting with the Marines and the Bloat Drone and killed... Five of them? Five of them. One, one's left. And then Brutus here uh, finally took down the other Wraith Guard with the Flamers. And then uh, this guy shot. We didn't really connect on the wound rolls. And the Death Shroud moved up very, very slowly like Death Shroud do. So at the end of Death Guard turn four, we got ourselves a little breathing room for the moment. Turn five coming up. End of Eldar. Turn five. Good news, bad news. Good news. We got some folks within an inch of the spire. Great. Bad news. We got to survive this blow drone, this plague marine, potentially this blow drone right here coming up here. Uh, the wind riders don't count because they're vehicles uh, as far as capturing the objective at the start of the next movement <laughs> phase. Uh, so Autarchs got to have to come up with some crazy rolls with only two wounds left. Uh, magically, that's about all that happened. We did do some smiting. We tried to get rid of the three Plague Marines. Could only get rid of two of them. Uh, and potentially, like, oh, we could have blocked this off in game over, but, um, rolls didn't work for me. Rangers failed me again. Thanks a lot. Dark Reapers. I, I think they took a wound uh, off of this Plague Burst Mortar. Not that it matters anymore, but, uh, that's good to know. All right, end of uh, top of five. Let's see if uh, Death Guard, what they can do. Oh, of time. Oh. All right, Death Guard, end of turn five, and the end of our Carnage in the Spires game. Chaos holds on by a thread to win. Um, infantry models, we were able to clean them out so they do not ascend into the Spire. This guy's a vehicle, so he doesn't count. Sucks for Chris, um, but it has to be an infantry model within an inch. And that's about it. So Dark Reapers still uh, kicking those uh, Rangers, popping more wounds on my Marines. Uh, MVP of this Marine, Marine Captain, kept it together as everybody else dies around him. So there we go. 1,750 points, Carnage in the Skies, down to the wire, Death Guard get the W.